have to get ready for your show. Oh, fuck, fuck, okay, okay. I still have to set up the tent. Awesome! Max set up the tent for me! Okay, do you want to come see my new work? Oh look, it's magical. Hello everyone! Thank you so, so much for coming to see my new work. I'm dying to show you this cutie pie here my Wonder Woman. That skimpy little outfit had worn out its welcome ages ago, but the crown would fit forever. Right? Crown fits forever, no matter what. And she's got her donuts over here, a few under the sofa, and some candy. Look how happy she is. Even with her saggy boob. She's got a donut. What more could you want? Macaroons, it's magical. She's a rock star. She's painted all the way around. I love her. So I'm really happy with the way this piece turned out. It is the last remaining figure from my book, I Wonder, that I uh, put out a couple of years ago. And I finally got her into a piece. And there she is, look how cute she is. That's the original little silver antique, actually I think it's plate, <laughs> silver plate cup from, from the book. And I did have to make a new balloon. That other one was kind of like a pillow. And, uh, Oh, I need a manicure, look at that. <laughs> uh, but I, I love the colors in this piece and in, instead of my regular joint compound that I use on my pieces to texture, this one is covered in uh, layers of torn paper. Uh, but I love, uh, I love how those little lines uh, come up. I wonder if today will miss me when I'm gone. That was her caption in the book. And I wonder if that's true. Will today miss me when I'm gone? I might miss today. I think she's lovely. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, and this is a really fun one. If you saw my works in progress, then, then you saw this one partially finished. And this one says, she wanted to follow her heart, but she knew that little bitch was just going to lead her back to the donut shop again. And sadly, it's a true story. Look at her. She wants to follow her heart. She just, she's not sure because she doesn't want to be chubby anymore. And she, but look at how happy that heart is. Let's go to the donut shop. And it's painted with little trees all the way around on the sides. So it's the same on the sides as it is in the front. And I love that tutu. What is it? What is it about tutus? I just love them. Isn't she cute? Okay, what's on the other wall? So I have been dying to show off this piece. It is uh, one of my favorites. I absolutely am in love with the pattern and the color and the story. This is the story of One-Eyed Jack, right? Didn't you ever wonder? How he only got one eye? Well, this is how it happened. He grabbed her boob and she stabbed him in the eye. 
It seems logical to me. These figures are so detailed and were so much fun to make. Oh, and it's got that awesome textured wallpaper on the sides. I think the color is fantastic. It's got gold leaf. She's got gold luster on her gown. Some fabulous earrings that used to be mine. A luster crown. Her little scepter. It's made out of a bead and an old knob. And he's got a little, little axe weapon. Although, I don't think he's going to be using it anytime soon. There it is. Love that one. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! I really wanted you to see this piece. I love making these boats. She was also in my in progress video. And uh, this is this is my little weathering the storm. And of course it's about quarantine, about COVID, about this really weird year and a lot of behavior that uh, I think other people are experiencing. <laughs> And she's, she's out on the sea by herself with her wine and her chocolate and her pizza and her donut and cocktail, her little mask. And then, oh, also, she's got a copy of my book. That's my book. It's a mini copy of my book. She's, of course, got toilet paper, extra masks. She's been playing cards with the dog, reading a few books drinking a little wine, eating junk food, and hanging out with her dog. Kind of makes her feel a little bit safe. She even gave some pizza to the puppy. And those beautiful old linens for the tattered sails. Really thrilled with how that turned out. Okay, ta-da! Here's my big head. Let me see how far back. Oh, there, the funny little things across my mind. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my God. The color turned out so amazing. It's an acrylic glaze as opposed to a ceramic one. I like the effect. He's got his head in the clouds or the clouds are in his head and these fabulous drag queens. There is Margot Rita. Isn't she stunning? You gotta see the back of her dress. Look at, look at the chain. Love it. Love you, darling. And then this beautiful Miss Chardonnay. And that's Hot Toddy. She is hot. She's got rock hard abs, literally rock hard. She loves leopard. I just think this one is gorgeous. And she's got her cigarette holder and she's fierce. Look at her. These girls are trouble. They were so insanely fun to make. I kind of went off the deep end, but I adore this piece and every time I walk in to the studio and see it I just smile what a cute face love you honey so this is my current current baby I took a real deep dive on on this ship um, I just kind of went over the top and I absolutely love it Ooh, it's magical look at the magical light on it it's called Just Another Dreamer, and it's uh, a story. Started with the story of this amazing little dreamer who turned out to be a fox girl, and she's got her sparkly midnight rhinestone coat, her incredible hat. And the story is actually written out on this little book made out of 
multiple daguerreotypes, as well as all of those little pebbles strung together, tell the story. And then these sails, uh, I just wanted them to be amazing and I wanted to embroider them, but I also needed to, you know, do it within my lifetime. So I found these amazing 200 year old antique Chinese children's hats that were made to look like animals and all of that embroidery somebody did without electricity <laughs> by hand and uh, I think I took apart four four hats put them together to make them look like butterflies and applied them to these sails that I made from an antique velvet dress as well as her hat has those pieces on it as well The masks are made out of paint brushes, my old paint brushes, some old finials. She's marvelous. Yep, you can see the story string in there. And there's the bird, very, very tip top. Just in case the wind doesn't blow, she needs the bird. I'm in love with this. Oh, and this is just the sweetest piece. I, I thought about this idea when I was, one day when I was feeling a little bit extra grateful. She marveled in wonder at all the truly magical things in her life and was even tempted by the thought that she just might be one of them. I'm in love with her face. She's so cute. And these are the magical things. Marvelous things, flowers and butterflies and bees and these beautiful little hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. I love the colors in this. Also wraps around, has uh, those, those little daisies are actually made out of textured wallpaper. And it's so sweet and pretty light. So this piece is, I didn't realize it would be so hard to video because she's got a little piece of painted plexi. It's, you mostly see the reflection of my weeds. This is the water dancer and in real life, you see through the glass and you see her little duck feet and she's dancing on the water. And uh, this is also a piece that was in my in progress. And I know, I know it's really unusual. It's really different for me. I definitely started this uh, during quarantine and I was just playing around. And those are photos of my eyes. and. That's actually a transfer of a photo of a sculpture I did. Place to sit and think. Leaves, wings, all the things that I love. Just trying to be happy, think of happy things. Crazy weird twins, always running out of time. So many strange scattered thoughts, I think. I was having back then, but I really love how this piece turned out. And I also wanted to make a little boy. I don't know, maybe he's a man, but I love, love, love how this one turned out. His own little piece of quiet little fisherman. He's on a lake somewhere. He's looking up at the birds. He's got his little fishing rod. And it actually goes into the water. That was fun. I was so happy with the colors in this piece. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I love that. With the pop of red is so good. Look at his chubby little toes. It's painted all the way around. It's just peaceful. 
and nice. Oh look, here's another self-portrait. This is a pretty fun piece. I like it a lot. Here she is drinking her wine. Who says that drinking the entire box of wine isn't a superpower? Right? It's my superpower. She's a little messed up. She's a little belligerent. She's lost a shoe. Her crown's a little crooked, but she's cute as fuck. And last but not least, there's my little girl in the city who is being followed by a chicken, right? That fucking chicken followed her everywhere. And what this is about is like no matter how old I get, how many things I do accomplish, I'm still chicken. I still get so scared. That fucking chicken follows me everywhere. Look, she, it's even got little chicken feet. But he's a bastard. I don't want to be chicken. But every time I have to do a live stream show, I'm scared. I'm chicken. It wraps all the way around, all the little buildings. We thought it was funny that the chicken was in the city. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for coming. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hope you're all well. Chicken follows me everywhere.